Hey guys, Bessie's got a new attitude. <laughs> she is murdered out. Not quite. There, I left a little bit of shiny stuff on it. That's kind of the way I like it. But uh, anyway, it's a spray bomb job. Don't get excited. Uh, living next to that ocean and all these bad storms and all that rain and blowing sand and all that stuff we had. Um, the truck ended up outside a couple times because I was working on those bikes and stuff. And man, the rust just really been popping out on it. So I got one of those red uh, scuff pads on a grinder and just started grinding rust off and painting it. And I thought, well, what the heck, man? I just went ahead and scuffed the whole truck. And um, excuse me about the noise. I'm kind of limited for space to walk around here right now. I got things under my feet. Anyway, I just scuffed it up. And uh, yeah, the reason I brought it over here to shoot it is one, so I could really see it. Um, what happened was I got, I ran kind of low uh, with my good paint and I had a couple cheapies on the shelf that I used for whatever, you know, stuff that's like underneath or something. And uh, the very last can, I went in a different direction, as you can tell, instead of side to side, up and down and the nozzle or something was bad. I tried another nozzle, but it just kept leaving these streaks. So I got, since then, I've already purchased um, some good paint. So I'm gonna, I gotta touch that up. But uh, yeah, it's a spray bomb job. But anyway, no, I just scuffed the whole truck down real good, washed it down and and um, went ahead and just uh, ground off the rust that was bad. I mean, in all the creases and everywhere and uh, Sorry, got a, something just bit me, I had to scratch. But um, yeah, and just uh, went through some primer on it and then some flat black on it. But uh, I brought it over here so I could see it in this fluorescent light because I knew that I had a lot of bad streaks. Um, I painted it over at uh, my place over there by the ocean and um, in this little tiny garage and didn't have any room. And look what that last can did, it just streaked it. Now out, you know, when I'm going down the road or out in not so bright sunlight uh, you can't even see those streaks in it but over here in this light this fluorescent light um, it really picks them up if there was some on the side like at my old shop oh you'd really see it it really looked bad but this was just like I say to kind of prevent rust give it a little you know something different little attitude and um, I'll just like work on one panel at a time this truck really isn't to me, worth totally restoring because um, every body panel on this truck has an issue and there is some rust on the floor and a little bit in the corners that I've been working on. Um, but uh, yeah, it would, this, this is probably going to end up making, you know, some great little rat rod, well, excuse me, rat rod type truck. I'd still love to throw some real horsepower to it. Um, I pictured a gasser type thing. I saw one one time on YouTube, uh, Little Stout or something it was called. And it was a, he had a small block uh, Chevy, but uh, had a straight axle on the front and had the old nostalgic gasser look. So that would be really cool. Just make a, you know, a street racer out of it. Um, but again, you know, it, I put that 22R in here. So, you know, turbo and the piss out of thing would be kind of fun to see what it would take. But um, right now I'm just using it daily driver and so, you know, I'm just kind of taking it easy and just keeping it a, a good, reliable truck right now. But <laughs> I can't believe I'm showing you this streaky paint job. I usually try to hide that kind of stuff from people, but um, I needed to see it for myself and just show you what we got here. And it's a little dirty, man. I had them wheels all shined up and everything looked good. But yesterday it was out in the parking lot and they came... The landscape guys came along, blow the sand off the parking lot, and just covered my truck. So it's a it's a little dirty. I gotta wash it off and touch up that paint. But anyway, 1978 Toyota Hilux pickup, Bessie. Sorry, the camera keeps trying to focus on the sun or something. The glare's got it. But anyway, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.